Hello everyone, my name is Brian and today I'm going to be teaching you the hoverboard effect that I've been doing in a few of my videos here. All you really need to use is After Effects with no additional plugins. If this tutorial is helpful, please subscribe, like this, hit the little bell thing, and that way I know to make more tutorials like this. Let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is teach your friend how to ride a skateboard or a penny board or whatever you're going to use to uh, basically hover on. And then you want to film them using a tripod so you don't ever touch the camera. Have them skate by and then get a blank slate at the very end of a few seconds with nobody in it so you can use that to mask later on when we get to that part. So the first thing you want to do when you open After Effects is drop your blank slate layer above your layer of the person skateboarding. And I'm actually going to hide the blank slate layer with the eye there so I can do the least, at least the first frame. Uh, and what I'm going to do is cut out the wheels. I'm going to keep the bearing so it looks like some kind of exhaust is coming out of it. But uh, if you click on the pen tool under the tools up here, you can now cut out the wheels right here. And I'm actually going to, you know, get out some of that shadow. And I'm going to make this like a nice smooth shadow here. Um, but you'll see. So I, I just connected cut out everything and I'm gonna bring back in my blank slate so this is what I'm seeing now already looks pretty cool looks like he's floating which is awesome but um, there's a lot more to it so if I go down to the blank slate the arrow here go to mask I want to set this as my keyframe so mask path right here so when I move and set another keyframe later it'll move there um, and I do want to add feather so I'm gonna add like 1% feather um, it's always good to have a little bit um, so it's so it blends a lot nicer um, so all I'm going to do here is scrub down the timeline. Looks like it moves, um, skating towards the camera. So I'm just going to grab all these keyframes, and I'm going to move it so it stays aligned with the skateboard. Um, and you might have to fine tune a few things like that wheels trying to get back in. Um, but as you can see, since I had the mask path checked, it set an auto keyframe there. So everything in between here should follow. Whoop see if that plays smoothly it's a little you can see it's a little jumpy so you can actually fine-tune each individual frame if you want or just a few frames so I'm gonna actually just move this up as I go uh, but you get you kind of get the gist there um, what I'm gonna do is scrub all the way down to uh, a later part of the timeline here um, this is where it completely changed so I'm gonna bring my mask over and you can see like that looks weird so I'm still going to honor the same shape around the bearings. So I can just go right here. Um, but at this point, I really need to expand um, the mask. So I'm just going to follow the shadow like this and make sure you're completely covering up the wheels. So I'm just going to go like this. Boom. Bring this over here. Over here. And sometimes, uh, at this point, I probably have to add more, so I'm going to use the pen tool, add a couple more keyframes um, as I go around this uh, piece here. Oops. Add another one here. And another one. There we go. So I've completely gotten rid of the wheels there. You can fine-tune however you wish. Uh, like this one, actually, I don't really like... I might make this a lot smaller. Ah, I don't even like that at all. Alright, so this one I'm just going to completely get rid of. Um, hopefully no one questions it. <laughs> but uh, there we go. So you basically have your skateboard here. So I'm not going to actually do this whole thing, but I'll show you what I've done so far. So as you can see, it's looking smooth, uh, the one I made already. You can see there's a few different things that are kind of funky there, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to use Wave Warp, and it's going to fix that. So let's go ahead and add a layer new adjustment layer um, and what we're gonna do with that is click on these arrows go to tools grab the pen tool again and we're gonna trace an area underneath the board because the board is gonna be producing some kind of energy underneath it um, so there it is I've just made a mask with my adjustment layer and I'm going to add a thing called wave warp in the effects and presets over here drag and drop that on and it looks pretty funky so I'm gonna go over here to wave type go to noise that's a lot of noise so let's go ahead and like add two noise like, nothing crazy yeah it looks a lot better 
Um, and then what I want to do is go to the adjustment layer down here, the arrow, go to masks, mask one, and add maybe a bunch of feather. Let's see, let's see, there we go. So there's a good amount of feather um, underneath it. Maybe not that much. Maybe I want to bring the noise, the wave height down. So I go like 1.5 maybe. Nope, it rounds it, so one. All right, so there's one, that should work. Um, so now what I want to do with that uh, adjustment layer is just go to mask path and I'm setting a keyframe again. And then as it moves, I'm going to be, select my tools, grab my little cursor here. I'm gonna grab the keyframes and move it with the skateboard or the penny board for anyone who, people like to call it a poser board. It's fun to just ride around, doesn't matter. Um, there we go. And as you move, you want to move the wave warp with you too. Um, and look, you can see it's getting small, so I could actually expand the warp. Um, you can really see it on the shadow because there's a big contrast between the light and the dark here. Um, but I just move this with it. Um, and I'm just going to keep doing this for the, you know, the whole length of the skateboard moving. But uh, let me show you another example of one I've done here. Um, here is one where I dropped a skateboard and it starts kind of floating, balancing itself. Uh, the way I did that is I just have my arm underneath it and I caught it and I just moved it in a way where a skateboard would kind of balance itself. And then I uh, cut out the wheels along with my arm, which made it super nice. Um, and then for the last one, this is probably the easiest angle you can do is just a side shot on a tripod, basically because you know your character doesn't come towards or away from the camera, so it always stays one shape. Um, it's a lot easier to mask. So you can see here that my mask barely had to change. I just had to you know move it with the skateboard. And then I added, uh, of course, the wave warp underneath that you can see. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the easiest method. I would recommend starting with this, and then if you master that, you know, keep trying it with different, uh, different angles, different options. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this is helpful, and you are able to do this hover effect in the future. If you do, please tag me in it so I can see what you've done from my tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and comment below if you like this tutorial, and uh, I'll be sure to make some more. Thanks for coming.